Ronnie, where are we? Oh, we're right here. <laughs> we're in Hoffman Furniture. And what we're are you showing me? Here. Oh, this is the front entrance of Grandmother and Grandpa Hoffman's house in which your dad, over Charlie, and my dad. Oh, Goldie, and there's the mezuzah right here. The mezuzah. Oh my I God. I was telling Sandy back this, and she didn't know about that. No, she didn't. Well, she she needs to, she's got to see it. She probably doesn't. And here we and are. I've got the key somewhere. Okay. There's no oh, really? And you know, if you knock real hard, it might hear. To the door. Yeah. And we went up through a long hall, and I'll show you the hall. And the stairs came down, and we used to play ball on that stairway. We'd throw it up there, and it'd go, the boom, the boom, you know. You know that we'd go up the stairs and turn right, and we'd go into the upstairs living quarters. Of who? Who lived here? Grandmother and grandpa. Every Sunday we came over, laid around, and we had dinner up there. And I remember Becky, not Becky, Cheryl, not Cheryl. Robbie, Robbie being introduced to the family upstairs and they put her in the thing and her feet were sticking out like she didn't want to get in those in that high chair. And we were all around. I sat next to my dad, my dad next to Uncle Charlie, Uncle Charlie was not Uncle Charlie, uh, next to grandfather and Uncle Charlie's on the other side. And I, being the only male at the time, we get to finish the schnapp flashes because they would have the, the little schnapps that would drink and then I get to finish the schnapps, which was just the two drops that was left. Nice. <laughs> so when, so and you, Mamie, which was the lady who cooked yeah. the food, uh -huh. would present this wonderful chicken mm. to the hen. And the hen had, you know, when, when a chicken, had, when they killed a chicken, there's still eggs in the produ production line. So they have that, and which they throw those away now. They just because, it, and but they would cook that in the in the juice, and when you get those, they were little balls of just the yellow part of it. But they had a special taste, of, like a delicacy. Hmm. Maybe one day you'll have a chance. Wow. Give me a little history. When was the Hoffman Furniture started? Well, I have a picture of them uh, with Aunt Becky, which is that Becky behind the counter back there. And you see the counter. And uh, somebody, whoever was working here. So my mom was named after? Becky, the picture, I showed you her picture. Okay, which was uncle, which was picture. your uncle Charlie, my grandfather's sister, who died. Yeah, and there, how, were she was, there were four of them. There were four of them. There were four. And Goldie, Goldie. Charlie, Becky, and my dad. Okay, so who was the oldest? The oldest was uh, my dad. My dad was born in New York. Oh. And he was born, I think, in 1908. Uncle Charlie was... 1909. 1909. And, but they were only 18 months apart or something very close. My dad was born in uh, the end of May, of March, the last day of March. And Uncle Charlie was born in August, August 1st, right? And that was the next year, which was not quite a pretty, just a little over a year later. But this is a big space. And so they came to Mobile and... No, when they came to Mobile, they, they started off in a, a rented building that they found. Okay. And it wasn't there. She stayed in New York. Right. She was pregnant with my dad. Right. And he came in and he started in the clothing business. He came down and he just had a few dollars in his pocket. He bought some pots and pans and iron. And he rented a building for $15. And for a few dollars, he bought some hand things saying he was in the clothing business. And that's what he did. He was in the clothing business. And he brought my, made enough to bring my grandmother down. And she would help in the store. When you say clothing, he washed clothes? Yeah, they were, I'm sorry, he was a cleaner. Cleaner, Cleaner. cleaning business. Clothes, but then some people didn't come get their clothes, so they would hang it out and sell it. Oh, really? Well, what else did they do? You throw it away. And then when did they buy this building? Well, through the through that nickel and dime. It, he used to carry the, and there's a place in Mobile that's way out, but it's not way out now. It's called Spring Hill. It was kind of the 
kind of the summer place that people went from Mobile. And he would walk to Spring Hill from here and uh, yeah, to save a nickel on the trolley. Wow. It was a long walk. And he would carry the stuff back to him and deliver it. And that's what my grandmother was would, uh, was with the Mabel Partners. And, and they lived they, above the store, right? They, yeah, when they bought this building. But okay. when, they, when she was there, they sold enough clothes to kind of get into the clothing business. And they, and they moved into here, and they had shoes and clothes next door, right in the, the section over here, okay. just like this one. And that's did until 1929 when everything went to hell and back. They couldn't sell, they couldn't sell shoelaces. And Dad and Uncle Charlie used to come down. Um, they, their job was to keep the shoes from showing any uh, uh, wear and tear. No, do, do degradation. You know what? Yeah. Talking. So what they do if they if they couldn't sell anything? Well, they sold some enough to. I live, and the guy, they rented somebody from here who was in the furniture business. And he couldn't sell anything, and he went out of business. And the, and the factories came and got what they, they could, and the leftovers were still here. And he took that for rent. Mm -hmm. So there's this opening you can see now, but they, would, but they came through that opening here, and they would sell the stuff on this side and watch that side at the same time. And the little guy in here, they had they hired somebody to get rid of the stuff so they could get the money out. Then we rent it. So a guy comes in here and he says, "Oh, here's the mattress. It's seventy nine ninety five, fifteen dollars." And he's making a little special sale of booty. And right. uh, the dad said, "See if they sold it for seventy nine dollars, or sixty, fifty, forty nine, whatever it was." Yeah. How did they do that? And the guy that used to work for them was helping them out. And he said, oh, well, they sell it all the time. They couldn't sell it. No, who's got, who's got $79? He said, they, they would sell it all the time, 50 cents down, 50 cents a week. Cheerful credit. So he fired that guy. He said, shoot, I could, anybody could do market from 59 to 15. Right. So then they marked it back up. They sold it, started selling it, and they ordered more, and then they needed more money. So they sold all their close to that they had all the stuff they had for 10 cents on a dollar somebody in New York, New York. Wow. And uh, that little bit of money, they bought some more furniture. And Uncle Charlie found a place that was going out of business, another furniture store that had a bunch of repossessions in the building, four floors. And he made arrangements for them to buy it for nothing. And they would bring it over here, and it was, sometimes the table was missing a missing a leg, and they hired a guy that could lay the leg and put it. That kind of guy. So, but your dad took over. My dad. Louis. My dad was first born, and he was the one that went to college. Mm -hmm. But he didn't like college that much, and Uncle Charlie wanted to be a lawyer, and he said, "Look, Charlie." I'll work at the store. You go to college. <laughs> so that's, and you know, you're choked up. I know. They were buddies. I know. So, and uh, way back then, uh, they told the story of watching, they jump up on the fence and watch the ball game. She didn't want to pay for it because you had no money. Yep. And one time, old Charlie came down, when he came down, it, it was on a coke bottle, it cut his heel. And this is Hartwell Field, which is very close to where Barry's, he's gonna bury Becky. It's right there, actually, on the corner. And he carried Uncle Charlie on his back. There he Stopping him and we were out. Wow. Yeah, they were, they were, they were like that. And that was very next to my dad. And my okay. dad, yeah, he's, he buried, he put, your mother, uh, uh, Evelyn, next to him on the right, and she was on the left, and, and oh. on the left, and then, and that's why we were together. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Well, let's go see where they lived. Yeah. yeah. This section and that section over there. It's all one building. Yeah, they had apartments upstairs. It's a yeah, it's like a duplex. This side was the furniture store that they bought the whole building. The Hoffmans bought the whole building and leased out this side to a furniture store. Okay. And they sold the clothing and did the dry cleaning and stuff. Oh, over there. Okay. okay. Got it. God. So basically, opened up. This was a drug store in here. One side, the last the far side. They also own this building, this well, part. Yeah. Oh. Well, no, they didn't. They rented this one. Okay, but they owned it. Oh, you did. Okay. Wow. But that's only because I had an opportunity to. Oh, okay. This was this. Yes. This is the original menu. Let's see. Well, not the original, but the, back in the day. Oh, wow. Breaded veal cutlet and gravy, 69 cents. A one-fourth fried spring chicken, 69 cents. What this are we looking one, at? This is one building. This is our building here. And there's a space. And this is the other building. When we were upstairs, I found, I didn't know it, but in the dining room, there was some soft paper on and I opened it up and it was the damn window. There's the window and you can touch that building from up here. Which means that this building, that building is 1901. This building was built before they even thought of even having wow. a building that's even more than one floor. Holy cow. That's like Civil War, man. That's like 1960s. Wow, look at these doors. Oh. This is a fuse right here. You see that fuse? Uh huh. A piece of metal. Well, it's made out of lead, so if you have a fire, the lead melts, and you no longer have a counterweight, and the door slams shut. Oh. Isn't that cool? Wow. I know. The, Shut, what is the, where's the cash register? This is this the original or no? No, this is this is a apartment store cash register. There's every everybody had their own drawer. You hear that tone? Right. Somebody got in your drawer, you could hear a different tone or your tone, and you'd say, oh. Somebody's right. all mechanical. Every drawer, it counts every time it's been opened. Keeps a, keeps a total for every drawer. It's amazing. It's oh, my mechanical. God. That's brilliant. All mechanical. Okay, well, we'll okay, switch so to that drawer down there. Okay, so there are eight drawers here correspond with the eight drawers here. So yeah, if, let's so here, say... Here, here it is right here, D. Oh, D, of course. I'm going to just close this. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to, let's say somebody gives me a hundred bucks right here. And I'm L for Leslie. Mm -hmm. Whoa. And it's a different sound. Show me about this one. And this, this one, one you have to push our great grandparents. Your B. Right. And then you $9 and 70 cents. And then you have to go like this. And it you have flips to push it up. them all at the same time. Yeah. There's so much wow. stuff on there, it, 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 it will work. But. God, look at Wait, you used to do what? You used to run the whole store on this. This is the adding machine? Mm -hmm. yeah, keep all over. How did you keep up with like accounts receivable and stuff? Here? Yeah. They did it on a book. In a book. So you just did it manually? Yeah, they did, yeah. Wow. Computers. Now, okay, so add it. Can, like, can you, you, can know, you like give a, me an example? On this? Total. Yeah, it's total out, it's, it's zero. Yeah, it's clear. Mm -hmm. Now it's the same thing like you had before, a dollar and thirty-three cents, and four dollars and twelve cents. And that's the total. Uh, uh, I mean, that is popping up now. Wow. Ronnie, how do you get ink? Let's now where are we going? Look at it first. Oh my god, it's an it's uh, wow. Look at it, Mike. Alright. Okay. Wait. Oh, these are where the stairs were. Here. Yeah. You, you what know, in you the hell? The stairs, you have so many go up right there. Ronnie, do you need to keep all these? My God. Yeah. What are they what are they? They're delivery tickets. Oh. They're numbered. If you need one. Okay. And this is going back how many years? Well, this is 15, 2015. Oh, okay. Every, what, what would they do? They would share their bike. What? 
They only had one bike, so it was Uncle Charlie one day and Dad the next. Aww. And they would ride each other. Aww. One of them had to be on the handlebars, on, on, on the bars. We have power. Wow. I see, so this was the right side. Right. I gotcha. Is the left side the... is very similar, but it's... Yeah. Wait till... We are entering the Hoffmans. Morris and Mary Hoffman, where they lived? And you see, oh that fan there, they had two of them. We used to sell fans like that. Mm. That's a window fan, mm -hmm. and it would keep this place cool as a cucumber mm. in the winter. Good it man. still works. If I had power up here, it would run. Oh, wow, look at this. It's a whole Right here, apartment. they have the refrigerator right here. They plug it in, this is the kitchen. Wait, where was the kitchen, this right the here? Kitchen. And they had the sink uh, over there and the stove over here. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is the dining room where we ate. And they had a big long table. Oh, look, a fireplace. And we sat all the way around. Mm. That was a coal fire. We sat all the way around. And, and uh, Aunt Evelyn and, and all the kids were down here. Pretty sure Uncle Charlie was up there with us. Not sure. And here's that window I was telling you about. Wow. And you could just see the next, the door, the uh, wall you, next to it? You could, you could touch the damn building. I see. Well, you so the window was there say, before there wasn't the building. Hey, send the baby. <laughs> That's funny. And then what's, whoa. And then you see it has a little wind fine over here. I remember my grandfather having it. Being in a wheelchair, and we had to roll it up and down. That Wait, is this like the original furniture? No. no. And this was uh, oh the uh, living room. This was the living room. Okay. This is Becky's room. Where? Oh. She died in this room. <gasps> oh, wow. What did she die of? She had... Phlebitis. What's that? Uh, mm. It's a blood clot. Mm. Wow. Look, that's the, look, look at, at the, the furnace. No, look at the w uh, wallpaper. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that's all original. Oh, I think there's a fireplace there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a room. Well, how do you ever keep warm? Oh, my God. Every room had a fireplace. Wow. But would it get cold or hot here? More cold, I would, or, well, or more hot. Cold is cold as cold. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see in here, Ronnie. What's in here? And then this is a little hall. And here we have Uncle Ch Grandfather's checks. Oh, yeah, this is what I want. See, you want some more? Yeah. And look at there, oh. let's see. And see, here, no, here, yeah, I'm able to take that one. Okay. This is, and by Lewis Hoffman. See, oh, that? you're dead, yeah. I think I'll say that. Maybe you don't mind. And this is Grandmother and Grandpa's room. This is where all the children were made. This was uh, where all the children were made, and uh, the bed was over there. I remember that. It was laid at it. It was a poster bed. Mm. You know, big post bed. And uh, in here is a closet. And then you can't see it. But there's a closet in there, and there's, all, but there's, there's also uh, a shipper over there. Mm -hmm. Much like this one right back here. You know what? I just and this was a sleeping quarters. All the guys and the girls slept out here. Oh. They had beds all the way down. Oh, okay. And Goldie and, and Becky and, mm -hmm. you know, when they were growing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why and not? Was, Becky got a little older. They she gave her that room, especially when she was sick. How old was she when she passed? Yeah. 21, I think. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Camera whales, you know sad crying of course you know ronnie i didn't even think about this when we renovated our house we looked everywhere for an old mantle mm -hmm. and we finally found one in like a restoration hardware mm -hmm. this would have been great i'm sure you sure. have mantles somewhere you know yeah, it's just so golly we could have 